Fake Jam is an online workspace and with collaborative features that make it easy for people to jump into a file and start jamming, it's the perfect place for your research team to run card sorting activities. In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to set up your Fig Jam file for a card sort, invite participants outside of your organization for an open session, and scale your card sorting board for multiple sessions. The user research team at Habits, a habit tracking app, is using FigJam to run a card sorting exercise. Participants will be asked to sort different words associated with the app's settings page, such as edit profile or update billing, into smaller groups. The exercise will help the Habits team make logical, informed decisions during the design process, so users can find what they expect, where they expect it. Let's get started! First, we need to build out our FigJam file. We want a section where we can keep all of the cards that need sorting. To add a new section, click the section icon from the toolbar, or press Shift plus S on your keyboard. Click and drag to place the section on your board. Double click the section name to rename it. Let's go with Scrambled. Next, we need to add our cards that we want users to sort. Each card will be a sticky note. To add a sticky, click and drag a sticky note from the toolbar, or press S on your keyboard and click to place it on the board. By default, each sticky note includes your name at the bottom. Since we don't need to know who created the sticky notes for this card sorting activity, I can click the sticky note, then toggle off the Show Hide Author option. Now, any additional stickies I add to the board will have the author hidden. You can also change the color of your sticky notes from the toolbar and make them wider by dragging the edge of the sticky. To quickly create additional sticky notes, hover over the blue dot next to the sticky, then click the plus icon. You can also press Command and Enter on Mac or Control and Enter on Windows to create additional stickies. Once you have all your stickies made, you can shuffle them by clicking and dragging them around the board. We also recommend checking out the plugins menu from the toolbar. Plugins are tools built by the Figma community that can help extend the power of Figma or FigJam. We're using a sticky shuffle plugin that helps us shuffle all of our stickies in a random order. Now that our scrambled section is set, we have a few more to make. The Habits team is running an open card sort, which means users can create their own groups. Therefore, we only need one big section that we'll name groups. If we were running a closed card sort and wanted to give our users a predetermined set of category names, we could create a section for each given category. We have one last section to make, a Start Here section. Here, we'll add some text using the text button from the toolbar or pressing the T key that will welcome participants and provide instructions for the card sorting activity. It's also helpful to review some basics, such as whether there's a time limit and how to ask the moderator questions during the session. You can also add stickers to this section to organize and add clarity to each step. Once we're happy with the layout, let's wrap all of our existing sections into one larger section, making it easier to move it across the board. Now that we have all our sections created, we can customize the colors of our sections to make them stand out. The participants don't need to see the sections with the cards when they join. We can hide those sections by selecting the sections, then clicking the Hide Section button or pressing Command, Shift, and H. We can copy and paste what we've created and keep it towards the top of the file as a blank copy. It's helpful to always keep a blank copy readily available so that we can quickly get started with each new participant. Looks great! We're ready to host our first card sorting session. The participants for the session are not members of our Habits organization and don't have Figma accounts, but we can still invite them to participate by hosting an open session. Open sessions allow you to host a public session by giving invitees edit access to your FigJam file for 24 hours and are available on any paid plan. 
If you're on the professional plan, you'll need to make sure your file is part of a project before hosting an open session. To move a draft file to a project, click the chevron next to your file name, then select Move to Project. In the modal, click the project you'd like to move your draft to. To start the open session, click the Share button in the top right corner of the file. If you want to set a password, you can select that option from the drop-down menu. Then, click the Start button next to the Open Session option. Click Copy Link to copy the invitation link, and then share that link with your research participants. The open session will automatically end after 24 hours, but you can always end it early by clicking End Now once your participants have completed their sessions. The Habits team plans to moderate their card sorting sessions. If you want to moderate your user sessions, try using FigJam's audio chat feature. With audio chat, you can talk to your participants directly in the FigJam file. Make sure to take a few minutes to review the instructions together. Once we're ready to start, the moderator can click Show Section to share the section with a participant. Time to get sorting! Our session is complete. To host additional sessions with new participants, we can copy our blank copy at the top of the file to begin fresh. We'll hide the responses from previous participants so that new participants that join the board won't see those responses. We also want to prevent the responses from being edited, so we can lock them by right-clicking the section and selecting Lock Unlock. This is just one way teams can use FigJam for user research. For a copy of this template, and to see more inspiration, check out our FigJam community profile, linked in the description below. And be sure to like and subscribe for the latest product news. Happy jamming!